What's good, boxing fans? We are talking about heavyweight boxing tonight. We're talking Andy Ruiz, Luis Ortiz, Tyson Fury, and Deontay Wilder. Next. You're listening to the Gloves Off Podcast, powered by IE Sports Radio, the show that brings you raw boxing debate. With your host, Marcus Los Great. What's good, fight fans? It's your boy, Marcus Los Great, here to give you what you want, here to give you what you need. Yeah, man. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the podcast. Your first, your last, your everything, and all that is combat sports. We are coming to you live, straight from your mama's basement, in a crispy white tea. We are powered by IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. If you didn't know, now you know. But before we get started, just in case them feds is listening, all thoughts and opinions of the Gloves Off podcast are the thoughts and opinions of Mr. Marcus Slow's great, and in no way, shape, or form represent the thoughts and opinions of i esports radio this is season three episode 29 and we're talking heavyweight boxing tonight ladies and gentlemen you know what i'm saying we're talking andy ruiz versus Luis ortiz that just happened this sunday A fight that went all the way to the scorecards. A fight that was very exciting, very entertaining. Very exciting, very entertaining. You know, you had Louis Ortiz, I mean, not Louis Ortiz, you had Randy we- R- R- Andy Ruiz who knocked down. Luis Ortiz at least three times in this bout. One time I even thought it was going to get stopped. But they continued to allow Luis Ortiz to move forward. You know what I'm saying? But based on that fight, can we say that Andy Ruiz is ready for Deontay Wilder? You know what I'm saying? Can we say that? Before we get into that, let's go ahead and see what the fans got to say about the fight. Ruiz versus Ortiz was underwhelming but with styles they have been a bit of a possibility one's a punch uh, counter puncher the other is a tricky south paw counter puncher they kind of counseled each other out and really didn't get to jail plus andy Again, is not in the best shape he could have been. He might be staying heavy for him to take shots better, but his mobility mobility isn't great, and he looked ponderous a lot for a lot of the fight. I don't know if I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Because Andy Ruiz um, showed in this fight great hand speed. I mean, not only just great hand speed, he also showed great foot speed. He was countering 
Luis Ortiz, and that's how he got many of these knockouts. I don't know how this fight was lackluster for people that love people that stand in the paint. Neither one of these fighters basically backed up. Yeah, there was movement around the ring or whatnot. I mean, that's part of the game. But I mean, at the same time, there was a lot of action going on in this fight. A lot of bombs being thrown in this fight. If this fight didn't, didn't entertain you, man, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, bruh. I don't know what to tell you. You might want to choose a different sport. You know what I'm saying? You just might. <laughs> I don't know how you didn't get entertained by this fight. This was, this was a great fight. This was a fighter's fight. This is the reason why a lot of the fighters were there. Because they knew that there was going to be explosions. They knew there was going to be fireworks. You get the firework display and then you, you know, you get the grand finale and then you poo-poo on it. The nerve of you. The nerve of you, sir. <laughs> the nerve of you. <laughs> ah. Let's see what some of the other fans got to say. I mean, my computer is going extremely slow here. Joe Lift. Andy Ruiz's ant speed is insane. He exploited that in his training, and the results are are incredible 100 percent 100 percent andy ruiz was explosive on sunday you know what i'm saying he was explosive with hooks he was explosive with jabs andy ruiz did what he was supposed to do in this fight the only thing that andy ruiz did not do in this fight was put luis ortiz down for the count and I can't be mad at him. He dropped him three times. How can we be mad at him for that? You know what I'm saying? We can't be mad at him for that. You know what I'm saying? At all. Andy Ruiz and those fast hands of his, he's definitely a real contender. 100%. 100%. I believe Andrew Ruiz put the heavyweight um, division on notice. I believe that Andy Ruiz let the heavyweight division know that he's not a flash in the pan. I believe that Andy Ruiz let everybody know that not only did he beat Anthony Joshua, but he has the skills necessary to beat some of the top guys at the top. Guys like Deontay Wilder. Guys like Tyson Fury. Guys like Alexander Usyk. I was hoping Andrew Ruiz would be a little... Would, I was hoping Andrew Ruiz to be more aggressive when he had Luis Ortiz hurt. That being said, Ruiz looked better this fight than his last fight. Good win. What more did you want? The man was throwing combinations the man was throwing hooks to the head and the body the man was throwing jabs anytime that Luis Ortiz was hurt you know what I'm saying did you expect him to go for broke because we all seen what happened to Deontay Wilder when he went for broke against Luis Ortiz he got hurt you know what I'm saying he was struggling he almost got taken out of there Andy Ruiz was being smart. You know what I'm saying? He was being smart in the fight. I can't knock him for that. Some of the punches were so bloody fast and explosive from Andy. He really struggled with Ortiz as a southpaw and was very cautious of his power, which a lot of people are criticizing him for. 
But I'm sorry, when you got those three knockdowns, why put yourself in danger against a puncher like Ortiz? That's exactly what I've been saying, man. Why would you do that? I mean, basically, you're 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 outspeeding him in the exchanges. You're getting the better of him in all the exchanges. Why would you take it upon yourself to put yourself in a situation where you could get possibly knocked out? Especially when there's tape of him doing this to Deontay Wilder. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. No, sir. No way. No how. The early knockdowns won the fight for Ruiz. Because of that, he also allowed himself not to throw many hands and save Stanima. Skilled Ortiz did well. You can knock him down four plus times. He'll get up and fight to the end. Much respect. Imagine if Ortiz was three to four years younger. I mean, if Ortiz was younger, could have made a more exciting fight. Ah, I mean, I mean, you could say that, but I mean, it gave us an exciting fight. You know what I'm saying? Those early knockdowns by Ruiz, you know, set the tone for the rest of the fight. I couldn't be mad at it. Couldn't be mad at it. Good fight for Ruiz. He has a lot to improve, though. Needs to be a little bit more aggressive when he knows that he has his opponents hurt. But overall, he's a very good boxer, a heavyweight. I don't know if I want him that aggressive. You know what I'm saying? I think that he has to be smart and aggressive. You know what I'm saying? He has to hurt his opponents, but also be cautious that his opponents can hurt him. You know what I'm saying? I think I think he's got to move cautiously. You know what I'm saying? I seriously thought this fight wouldn't go to distance with betting on Andy to get the job done. But man, Ortiz is a true elite fighter. Now we know why top heavyweights like AJ avoided Ortiz. One of those shots eaten by Ruiz would have broken his glass chin. Not to mention Dillian White. Has been running scared all this time. Can't blame him. Now, I'll give AJ a pass. AJ did, AJ and um, Hearn did offer um, Louis Ortiz $7 million. But they passed up, uh, Louis Ortiz's team passed up on that because they had a fight with Deontay Wilder. You know, he had already fought Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder had beat him. He felt in his heart that he needed to get that that get back against Deontay Wilder before, you know, basically moving on to Joshua. So I, I, I kind of give both of them a pass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you would like for them to, to them to fight for them to fight each other, but at the same time, you can understand why Luis Ortiz, who had been beaten, who had who had been knocked out by Deontay Wilder, wanted to get back get back against De, you know against Deontay Wilder. You can understand why he would pass up the seven million dollars that he made, you know that he would have made against um, Anthony Joshua. You know what I'm saying? So that's understandable. Ortiz is 43, keeping up with top heavyweights. Yes, he is. Yes, oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Ortiz is 43 years old. That's crazy. What a warrior. Yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. You know what I'm saying? Luis Ortiz from Cuba is putting on a display for Cuban boxing. You know what I'm saying? He's showing us maybe what, what what the possibility could be if those guys were allowed to defect. Well, not defect. Defect is the wrong word. If those guys were able to acclimate themselves to boxing culture a little bit earlier. You know what I'm saying? Because those guys have to wait 
and then basically escape their country in order to do it. They can't just, you know, they can't just turn pro when they, you know, when they're 17 or 18, like kids in America. It's it's one of the reasons why I kind of respect them just a little bit more. I respect Cuban boxers just a little bit more than I do American boxers just because of that. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, hardship, it's hardship. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in the hood. I understand the hardships of the hood, but... A third world country, country like like Cuba, Cuba, <laughs> bruh. You know what I'm saying? It's like Manny Pacquiao. I understand their hardship is definitely different than hardship in America. We here in America don't really realize, you know, how good we really got it. You know what I'm saying? Because we could easily be in a third world country and be really struggling. You know, we, we think this is struggling here. We haven't seen no struggle yet. You know what I'm saying? Go in these countries like Cuba, you know, the Philippines, Africa. Those dudes are struggling. You know what I'm saying? Those dudes are, those dudes are starving. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ruiz was very tactical, can't understand why the crowd booed him during the middle rounds. Because boxing fans, man, are some of the most dreadful people to be around, bruh. They expect the moon and back. You know what I'm saying? It, It makes no sense. You're in there with top opposition. You're giving them an exciting fight, and then they boo you. The freaking nerve of them. Freaking nerve. Crazy Ruiz stayed on his feet for all 12 rounds. I thought as though, I thought that he would definitely get knocked out. And under 10, Ortiz is so scary. That makes this win even more hard to believe. I 100% agree. I thought that Luis Ortiz was going to have knockdowns of his own. I mean, this man knocked down Deontay Wilder. I thought there was going to be times that he would catch, you know, Andy Ruiz slipping. And even though he did catch him slipping, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't enough to knock him down. And that's credit to Andy Ruiz's chin. We got to give Andy Ruiz's chin some love. You know what I'm saying? We got to give his chin some love. Because basically he was taking some shots. And he kept moving forward. He kept prodding forward. You know what I'm saying? Respect to Ortiz. Still doing it hard at 43. The guy is a boss. 100% agree. 100% agree. Ortiz gave Ruiz a run for his money probably would have won if it wasn't for the knockdowns ah I don't know that's up for debate I thought that not only was did he have the knockdowns but I also thought he was winning in the exchanges you know my idea when I'm in boxing when I'm watching boxing man I'm always sitting there thinking to myself, who would I rather be in this fight the entire time I'm watching it? You know, who would I would rather be? And after watching that fight, I would rather be Andy Ruiz. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't know if he would have won the fight if it wasn't for the knockdowns. You know, I think he wins that fight either way. You know what I'm saying? But I could be wrong. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong. Get up in the comment section and let me know what's popping. You know what I'm saying? Ruiz had Ortiz hurt so many times and he let him recover. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And that was by design. I mean, basically, he didn't want to get caught. He was already catching rapid fire as it was. 
Why would he step in there and catch something and end up getting knocked out cold? Andy Ruiz goes in for the knockout, right? He gets knocked out cold. Are you sitting up here in the comment section saying, well, you know, at least he kept it, you know, at least, at least he went for the knockout. No, you're going to be like, Andy Ruiz, all you had to do was stay away from him. That was stupid. That's what you're going to say, man. Come on. Be real. Be real. You know what I'm saying? Be real. One last comment. Well, I'm surprised it went to distance. I thought Ruiz would have got the KO. I thought Ruiz was going to get the KO, especially after that second knockdown. That second knockdown had me thinking he was going to get the KO. He didn't get it. That's a credit to Luis Ortiz. We got to get we got to tip our hat off to him. You know what I'm saying? We got to tip our hat off to him. So, you know, basically Tyson Fury after seeing the loss by Anthony Joshua to Alexander Uzik. You know, Tyson Fury decided to send an offer to Anthony Joshua. And word on the street is Anthony Joshua has accepted that offer. It was a 60-40 offer for the WBC heavyweight title to be on the line. The only thing that they're that they're um, trying to discuss now is basically whether it should be in November or whether it should be in December. You know what I'm saying? But they want to do the fight in England, and it's supposed to be a record-breaking fight. My thoughts on this is, is Eddie Hearn trying to cash out? You know what I'm saying? Is this his move now to, you know, basically cash out because um, Anthony Joshua, you know, just isn't um, living up, you know, to the, um, the everything we thought he was going to be. We thought that it was going to boil down to you know, Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. And um, right now it's looking like it's boiling down to Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk. You know, two guys, you know, one from Russia, the other from Britain, you know, you know, basically bringing their skills together to completely dominate the boxing division. You know what I'm saying? So that's interesting. Let's see what the fans have to say about this. One fan said, do you see how simple this was? Why can't Crawford and Spence be just this simple? Don't get me started on that, bro. (laughs) Don't get me started on that. You know what I'm saying? Last week, you guys had me on a tangent. You know what I'm saying? I was out here. You know what I'm saying? Almost 51 minutes out here on the mic. My computer cut off. You know what I'm saying? Battery went dead. You know what I'm saying? I was doing too much. (laughs) Don't get me started. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me started. Fury said on Talk Sport that the December um, date is the 3rd. December 3rd. Okay. That's not bad. Okay. I'm not mad at that. December 3rd would definitely be a great date. So easy to make once AJ Stocks fell. Shame, but 
this will be still good. Absolutely, this will still be good. Again, I still want to see AJ versus Wilder. I still want to see AJ versus Tyson Fury. You know what I'm saying? I'm a boxing fan. These are the top fights. I don't care that um, AJ has lost to Alexander Uzik twice. I don't care that Al- that um, that AJ has lost to uh, Ruiz. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't got to be undefeated for me to, um, you know, to basically watch him fight. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate that he's still willing to fight the best, even though he has lost his titles. If you listen to the interview, Eddie definitely wanted to duck or at least negotiate a split, but AJ told him that he was fine with the 60-40 split. It's about time that AJ has stepped up into his business affairs and, and and has stepped to Eddie Hearn and told him, man, like, bro, you got to get out of the way. Because Eddie Hearn has been in the way the entire time. He's the reason that we didn't get, um, you know, AJ versus Wilder, you know what, Seven years ago. There's no reason why we didn't get that fight. Both both fighters wanted that fight. And when Wilder said that he had, you know, $50 million to make the fight, there was no reason why that fight didn't get made. Especially when... The AJ side was claiming that, oh, this fight isn't even worth that much. Well, you had a promoter that was willing to pay guaranteed $50 million with pay-per-view backsides. What was the problem? What was the problem? AJ fans, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't get how you guys supported him during that time. But that, that was very telling at the fact that some guy, the one they were calling, some guy in Alabama. Oh, the same guy that backed by the guy that, that, that is the promoter of Floyd Mayweather Jr.? The same guy that back guarantees for Floyd Mayweather and Canelo Alvarez. The same guy. That back guarantees for Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. Oh, that guy can't be trusted? That guy. I don't know what you guys were thinking, man. I don't know what you guys were thinking. Who else we got up in here? Still don't believe it'll happen. Happy to be proved wrong. Terrible idea for AJ. Will be three losses in a row. At this point, who cares? At this point, who cares? You know what I'm saying? Think about it. AJ is at the top of the mountain. He can't get no higher. The man had three of the four belts. You know what I'm saying? He can't get no higher. He just lost his three belts to Alexander Usyk. And you know what he's thinking? He's thinking Tyson Fury has a belt. If I get this belt from Tyson Fury, I can force a third fight with Alexander Usyk and get my belts back. Why don't we praise these champions for doing these type of moves? This is a chess move. You know what I'm saying? He realizes his value is gone. He lost not one, but two fights versus Alexander Usyk. There is no reason for anybody else to watch another fight 
against him and Alexander Usyk unless he has a belt. He goes in the ring. He destroys. He knocks out Tyson Fury. You're trying to tell me you don't watch that third fight against him and Alexander Usyk? You'll be the only person that's not watching it. I'll be there watching it, boy. No. <laughs> I couldn't call my cable operator fast enough to get that fight on my TV. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know what y'all talking about, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If, if AJ loses, if he loses... I can't blame the man for trying. I can't blame the man for trying, for pushing the envelope, for trying to position himself for the best way possible to get back into the title, title picture. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't knock that. I can't knock that at all. Tyson Fury was just on Talk Sport. Mentioned November 26th at Wembley and then um, December 3rd at Millennium Stadium as well. Man, can you imagine this fight being at Wembley Stadium? Man, the fans are going to be off the chain. They're going to be sitting up there jumping on uh, off their seats. Well, 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 well. Man, that would be an exciting fight. I would love to see that live. It would be, ex- oh man, it would be, it would be a dream to watch that fight live in Wembley Stadium because it would be rocking from the time that it opened to the time that it closed. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it would be a spectacle. It would be a dream. Your boy could die after that. You know what I'm saying? Put me in a casket. I'm done after that. <laughs> I'm done after that. Dude. You know what I'm saying? I done seen the world's treasures. You know what I'm saying? I'm out. <laughs> I done seen the world's treasures. You know what I'm saying? After, after that. You know what I'm saying? Just put me in a box. Read out my eulogy, you know what I'm saying? You know, he died happy. <laughs> he he died with a with a smile on his face. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> oh man. One last comment here. What we what we got here? He had 24 rounds to go for broke against Usyk. He didn't in 23 of them. What makes you guys think that he will against Fury on will against Fury? It's not about going for broke. I know that Alexander Usyk's style required for him to go for broke. The problem with that though is he was just getting caught with too many of those jabs. That it was making him second guess whether he should go for broke. He was afraid of getting knocked out. And that's unfortunate. Because in, in, in our sport, we, we expect our fighters to want to go out on their shield. You know, when Deontay Wilder was saying that he wanted to go out on the shield, a lot of us questioned whether he really wanted to do that. And when he was given the opportunity, he actually did that. You know, he went for greatness. He got knocked the fuck out. And he has, he has nothing to be ashamed about. That fight, the second and the third fight, were some of the best fights of Deontay's career. He came up short in both those fights. But we learned more about Deontay Wilder in those two fights than we did in his previous 40. I'm not mad at Deontay Wilder for getting knocked out. Chase greatness. Be great. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you lose while chasing greatness. 
sometimes you got to learn the lessons and and tr- chasing greatness before you get over the hump. That's what happened to the Chicago Bulls. You know, against the Celtics, against the 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 bad boy Detroit Pistons before they went to the to the finals and started, you know, winning championships. That's what happened to LeBron James. You know, he got swept in the finals before he started winning finals. Sometimes your greatest win is a defeat. And it leads you to victory. You can't be afraid to fail. Failing is winning. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the chat room. I want to give a shout out to my boy Larry B. And my boy Taryn Rodriguez, the hardest working man here at IE Sports Radio. He says, I love how you get the fans' perspective. It's great. It's fantastic. Without the fans, what is the point of us doing this? You know what I'm saying? I'm here for the fans. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Support your boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for the fans. We're getting long here in the tooth again. You know what I'm saying? We 36 minutes in. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're doing what we do. We talk in boxing. You know what I'm saying? If the computer goes out, the computer goes out. You know what I'm saying? We doing what we do. I'm here to give you guys what you want. I'm here to give you what you need. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Ah. Ah. So, the question that everybody wants to know is, you know, does Andy Ruiz beat Deontay Wilder? And based off of that last, his last fight, Based off of his last fight, I don't know if I say that Andy Ruiz beats Deontay Wilder. But what I will say is this. Andy Ruiz has fast hands. And if Andy Ruiz has fast hands... It wouldn't surprise me if he touched Wilder. Could he knock out Deontay Wilder? Could he catch him and knock him out cold? I don't know that if that happens, but I do know this. If we get these two gentlemen in the ring, we will see at least six knockdowns. I give them three each. Three each. You know what I'm saying? Three each. Let's see what the fans got to say about this. Wilder B. Ruiz. Ruiz is a dangerous fighter, though, and his fighter and his power always has him in it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I 100% agree. Andrew Ruiz has power. You know what I'm saying? Power that must be respected. If Andy Ruiz's power is not respected, you will pay for it. You will. You will pay for it. You know what I'm saying? You will pay for it. The man who made AJ quit is getting knocked out by Deontay Wilder. I want to say Wilder wins by knockout. But Andy Ruiz has shown us that he has championship level chin. Championship level chin. Which means, in my opinion, he's been hurt. But it's very, very, very rare. Very rare. 
Ruiz was getting hit too much by Ortiz. We all know Ruiz has a chin, but can he take Wilder's best shot? That is what is so intriguing about that fight. Can he take Wilder's best punch and continue to move forward? Not many people can. Not even not even Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury was knocked down in, in, in these fights. Tyson Fury did not go unscathed in these fights. He got knocked down. He just kept getting up. Tyson Fury has a chin of his own. To take that type of power and still get up, I would have to see if Andy Ruiz has that same type of chin. I believe in Andy Ruiz's chin. I just don't know if it's on the level of Tyson Fury's. I just don't know. Wilder almost died fighting Ortiz will be a good fight. I absolutely 100% believe that it will be a good fight. Ruiz wasn't able to get or old Ortiz out of the ring, though. Wilder finished Ortiz twice. Ah, Styles do make fights, though. Styles make fights. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't, you can't say that. You know, Styles make fights. Could go either way. Respect to Andy. He fights on too many fronts. And one hope fight against Wilder will happen soon. Me too. Me too. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to see that fight. That's an excellent fight. I hope the fight happens in Vegas. Vegas is right down the street from us. You know what I'm saying? I would love to go see that fight. You know what I'm saying? That would be great. And a final comment on this. Before, we were surely, we would have seen the Stavern Trilogy belt give fans what they want, what they need. Dude, are you trying to steal my catchphrase, bruh? You trying to steal... <laughs> bruh, you know what I'm saying? You need to give me a shout-out if you're going to use my stuff, all right? You know what I'm saying? You can't be using trademarked, you know what I'm saying, catchphrases without giving your boy just a little bit credit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not asking for a lot. I'm just asking for my just do. You know what I'm saying? Don't be out here using... You know, Marcus Staples type of trademarks, you know what I'm saying? Without giving your boy his just due. You know what I'm saying? Without giving your boy his just due. I want to say.